Lucy and her best friends, Lily, Joy, and Rhonda, were having a pajama party. They decided to watch a movie in the living room. Lucy went to the kitchen to get some snacks. When she returned, she saw that Lily was lying on the floor unconscious. Rhonda said, I was on the phone talking to my boyfriend. Suddenly, Joy hit Lily with a pillow and she fell down. I don't know why. Joy said, Rhonda's lying. She hit Lily with a pillow very hard on purpose. Who's lying? Both of them. There are no pillows in this room. After the movie, the girls decided to play with a Ouija board. They called the ghost of a famous singer. Suddenly, the pointer on the board started moving by itself and wrote this. Evil Lots Yad 3 Eva Hoy. Can you help Lucy and her friends decode this message? It says, you have three days to live. The girls freaked out and interrupted the session. Lily offered everyone to take some pictures. They took many cute photos, but when they scrolled through the gallery, they freaked out even more. Why? All four friends are in this picture, but then... Who took it? Lucy told her friends it was time to get some sleep. But as soon as they entered the room, they ran out Ah! screaming. Why? Look at the mirror. It reflects a creepy shadow waving at them. Eventually, Lucy offered her friends to sleep in her parents' bedroom and she opted for the couch in the living room. The TV was on, and it calmed her down. In the middle of the night, she heard some noise from the bedroom and hurried to check on her friends. All of them seemed to be sleeping. Can you guess which one wandered outside? Lily, she has leaves in her hair. The next day, Lucy, Rhonda, and Lily met in the classroom. They were very concerned. Why? This is Joy's desk, and it's empty. She didn't come to school. Neither did she warn anybody. Look, Lucy is carrying a cup of coffee with Joy's name. Joy didn't show up and didn't answer her friend's calls. Lucy, Rhonda, and Lily went to visit her. They found the girl in bed, under a blanket. The friends got very scared. Can you tell why? Joy has covered the window with a blackout curtain, and the shape of her ears and teeth has changed. She's turning into a vampire! Lily decided to stay and take care of Joy. Meanwhile, Rhonda offered Lucy to visit her Aunt Vera. She ran a magic shop with different potions. When Vera heard about what happened to Joy, she said, Okay, I need three ingredients to cook a healing drink. Here's the first one. When it comes to me, you go when you see red and stop at green. Can you guess the ingredient? It's watermelon. To get the second ingredient, Vera took Rhonda and Lucy to her cherry garden. Rhonda picked eight cherries, Lucy picked 13, and Vera picked 14. How many apples did they collect together? Zero. Apples don't grow in cherry gardens. Vera gave Lucy and Rhonda a hint about the third ingredient. Here it is. Can you help them crack this rebus? It's Mandragora. 
Mandragora grew near the spookiest house in town. Vera gave Lucy and Rhonda a task to find it and bring it to her store. While Rhonda was searching in the garden, Lucy decided to get a closer look at the house. She saw a sign with a weird name on it, Seoman Eprik. She went to the huge door and opened it quietly. After Lucy got inside, the door slammed shut behind her back. Tons of vampire bats rushed at her. Lucy started pulling on the door like crazy. Suddenly, she saw that there was something written on it. Change the order of letters in Seoman Eprik. She yelled the answer, and the door opened. What did the girl say? The real name of that place was Creepy Mansion. Rhonda found three root vegetables in the garden, but only one of them was Mandragora. Can you figure out which veggie Rhonda should pick? Even if you've never seen a mandrake, you can eliminate the other plants. This is definitely a carrot, and this is a beet. So the remaining one must be the mandragora. Lucy and Rhonda prepared to leave the spooky house, but suddenly they stepped on a trap hidden in the grass and fell into a deep well. They looked around and found three tunnels leading to freedom. A fire-breathing dragon was waiting in the first tunnel. It was very angry and disliked people. There was a portal leading into a black hole in the second tunnel, and huge cacti were growing all over the third tunnel. Their juice was poisonous to any human. Which way should Lucy and Rhonda choose? The third one. Look, those cacti don't have any spines, and no one's gonna force the girls to drink cactus juice. Vera cooked the potion for Joy. Lucy and Rhonda took it to the girl's house. But when they entered her room, it was empty. Joy's parents said that Lily and Joy had left together. They were both acting very weird. Rhonda said, Oh no, they've both turned into vampires. We've got to find them before it's too late. Can you help them find any clues in Joy's room? Look at her laptop. They seem to have bought train tickets to go to Las Vegas to visit Joy's granny. Lucy and Rhonda boarded the train. Besides them, there were four other people in the car. One of these passengers didn't have a ticket. Can you figure out who it is? This woman. She's the only one who's hiding her head behind the headrest of her seat so that the camera doesn't spot her. When the train was going through a tunnel, the lights went out and the passengers got very frightened. When the light turned on again, one of the passengers shouted, Help me! Someone has stolen my bag! Lucy immediately realized who had done this. What about you? Any ideas? Yeah, this guy. There's some makeup lying under his seat, and his window is open. He put the contents of the bag into his backpack, and then threw the bag out the window. Rhonda and Lucy got to Las Vegas and headed for the house where Joy's granny lived, but they kept coming to the wrong houses. In the first house, they met this old lady, and in the second, there was this one. Can you tell which elderly woman is dangerous? It's the second one. She's up to something, while the first one is just getting ready for a Halloween party. Finally, Lucy and Rhonda found the right house. The door was open. When they entered, they saw Joy's granny unconscious on the floor. She had a vampire bite on her neck. Suddenly, Joy and Lily popped out of nowhere. They had pale faces, sharp teeth, and pointy ears. They came closer and closer, ready to bite their friends. Suddenly, Rhonda began laughing and exclaimed, huh, Stop fooling around, it's just a prank! How did she know? The 
The mirror reflects joy, and Lily casts a shadow. They're not real vampires. It's just a Halloween prank. Joy went to take a shower to remove her vampire makeup. But someone poured paint into the shower head, and the water turned green. Joy questioned Lucy, Rhonda, and Lily. Lucy said, I did my laundry and then went to cook some kiwi jam. Sorry, I gotta go, it might burn. Lily said, I took a shower and washed my hair right before you went in. What happened? Why are you so green? And Rhonda said, I'm studying for my geometry test. Can you keep it down, please? Who pranked Joy? Lily said she'd just washed her hair, but it's dry and braided. Besides, she's wearing a dress under her bathrobe. That's a pretty suspicious outfit. Rhonda decided to prank Lily. She took a balloon and a cupcake paper cup. She filled the balloon with some water and put it into the paper cup. Then she added some shaving cream on top and decorated it all with sprinkles. Now it looked exactly like a real cupcake. Rhonda was very proud of herself. Suddenly, she heard other girls entering the kitchen. Rhonda left her cupcake on a plate, along with real cupcakes, and hid under the table. Lily, Lucy, and Joy entered the kitchen, saw the cupcakes, and decided to eat them. Can you tell who took the prank cupcake? Joy, the real cream has already melted but the shaving cream still looks perfect. Joy, Rhonda, Lily, and Lucy went out to celebrate Halloween. They knocked on the neighbor's door. Mike opened the door. The girls shouted, trick or treat. Mike said, I'm going to give you diamonds instead of sweets if you crack my riddle. You will always find me in the past. I can be created in the present, but the future can never taint me. What am I? Each of the four friends got a beautiful diamond. What did they tell Mike? The correct answer is history. The girls went to the local Halloween party. The hostess didn't want to let them in without a password, but they didn't know it. The woman liked their costumes, so she gave them a little hint. I eat clams. I live in the ocean, I move slowly, I have five arms. What am I? In no time, Joy, Rhonda, Lily, and Lucy were inside. So, what was the password? A starfish. Okay, I'll show you two profiles. Your task is to guess which of the two is fake. Let's start. Which profile is fake? It must be the left one. The girl is only 13 years old. She can't be doing her PhD. What about these two? The person on the right was born on February 29. It's fine, this date does exist. But there was no February 29th in 1985, because it only occurs every four years. So the profile on the right must be fake. The left profile is fake. Pilots are supposed to have perfect vision, so the guy is probably lying about something. Take a good look at these profiles. Okay, Pan Am and Narnia are two fictional places, so I'd say the left profile is a fake one. What can you say about these two? Well, as far as I know, 14-year-olds can't get married in Canada. So the profile on the right is fake. Now I'll show you some photos. Your task is to guess what's wrong with them. Let's begin. Here's the first one for you.
Look, this train is transporting a modern car. But it's the Wild West. There were no cars back then. Can you tell what's wrong here? It's medieval times. But look, there's a 10-story building in the background. What about this picture? Do you see anything strange? The woman is wearing sneakers. Now look closely. What seems odd here? This woman has a modern camera. I don't think people had them back then. What do you think about this photo? The mountain in the background is green. There's no snow. Keep going. What's wrong here? Look, that guy in the back, he's wearing sneakers. Not the best thing to be wearing to a ball. Plus, this kind of footwear didn't exist back then. Be very attentive. Can you spot an odd detail here? This guy has three hands. How handy! Ryan had a crush on a girl from his school, Amelia. Once, he got a note from her saying that she liked him. So Ryan decided to write her back and ask her to prom. Unfortunately, he didn't remember which desk was Amelia's. There were two possibilities. Can you tell which desk is the one he needs? If you remember, the note was written in green ink. There's a similar green pen lying on the desk on the right. So this is most likely Amelia's desk. One Monday morning, a big sum of money went missing from the accountant's safe. Three people were in the office at that time. Magnolia, the accountant, said she'd left for several minutes to go to the bathroom. Walker, a software manager, said he'd gone out for lunch and hadn't seen anything. Dawson, a cleaning man, said he had been cleaning the second floor at the time. Can you figure out who's lying? It's Walker. He said he had been on his lunch break, but it was still morning at that time. Tessa works in a clothing store in the suburbs. She doesn't usually have many customers. One day, she only had three. The first person got a belt and a purse, the second got a dress, and the third customer got a hat. One of them was a criminal, and Tessa reported them to the police. Who is the criminal, and how did the girl understand it? The third customer gave her a $1,000 bill, and such bills don't exist. During her winter vacation, Serena went to the spookiest house in the neighborhood by herself. That was a mistake, because once she entered, the door got locked behind her. She saw three ways out. Behind the first door, there was a huge venomous spider. Behind the second door, there was a brick wall. Behind the third door, there was a huge lake. Which way should she opt for? She should take the third way. It's winter, and the lake is frozen. Serena told her friends what had happened to her, but no one believed her. The next day, Leslie went to that house too. The same thing happened. The door got locked, and the girl saw three dangerous ways out. A fire was raging behind the first door. Behind the second door, there was an angry ghost. If she opened the third door, a huge chunk of glass would fall down on her head. Which way should Leslie choose? Well, if I were her, I'd choose the second way. Ghosts, even angry ones, can't physically harm you. They can only freak you out. 
Now, look at the pictures I'll show you and try to find the odd image. Yep, it's right here. Another one for you. Be very attentive. Look, here it is. Now, let's make it harder. Here's a picture of many plants. Can you find two that are the same? Here's one. Here's the other. Can you find two similar images here? Look, here they are! Okay, now I have a maze for you. Can you find a way out? Right, that was <laughs> amazing! Here's another puzzle for you. Help A find her way to her best friend B. That's how she can do it. And another maze, the hardest one so far. Can you help the dog find its favorite plush toy? Here it is! Kai and Nate went camping in the woods. Now look, Kai is climbing a tree, and Nate is picking up some firewood for the campfire. Who is in danger? Nate, a bear is approaching him. The guy should be very careful. Ella and Grace are late for school, so they're taking a shortcut. Ella chose to go through the forest, and Grace decided to go across a frozen lake. Who is in danger? Grace, the ice on the lake is melting. There are cracks over there. Pierce's daughter and Andre's son came back home after studying at their friend's house. Neither of the parents got suspicious, but someone's kid had been to a party instead of studying. Whose kid was it? Andre's. Her son has a lipstick stain on the collar of his polo shirt. I'm guessing that was courtesy of Pierce's daughter. Gabriella and Emily are best friends. One of them is pregnant, and the other one just pretends to be pregnant to get some perks. Can you figure out which girl is faking? I'd say it's Gabriella. Look, she's wearing really high heels, so she's probably not afraid of slipping and falling. If she was pregnant, she'd be more careful, you'd think. One day, Los Angeles police were warned that the infamous robber Samuel had left Spain and taken a plane to Los Angeles. The only detail the police knew was that the criminal had a beard. At the airport, they stopped a group of people who had just arrived from different countries. The detectives noticed three bearded men and interrogated them. The first guy said that he'd come from London. The second one said he'd arrived from Spain, but his name was Cristiano. The third man said he'd come from Poland to have a vacation. The detectives didn't even need to check their plane tickets to figure out who the robber was. Who do you think the criminal is? It must be the man who said he'd come from Poland. He's supposed to be on vacation, but he doesn't have any luggage with him. Leela called the police and reported that she had been robbed. She said that she had been in a restaurant's bathroom, fixing her makeup. Suddenly, someone came up to her and hit her on the head. The person had approached her from behind. That's why she didn't see what they looked like. But the police sent the woman home and refused to file the report. Why?
The woman said she'd been fixing her makeup. Then she had to be looking in the mirror. If someone had tried to approach her from behind, she would have seen that person. But she said she hadn't. She must have made up the whole story. Several girls went missing in a small town. The police only managed to find them half a year after the first one had disappeared. When officers entered the place, they saw just three girls. They all said they had been locked in a small room and had never left it. The detectives knew that one of them was the kidnapper. The first girl, Eleanor, said she'd spend around a half a year there. The second girl, Vera, said she had been confined there for two months. The third girl, Sienna, said she had been there just a week. Can you guess who's lying? It must be Vera. Look, both Vera and Sienna have a pretty manicure. It's okay for Sienna because she's only spent a week there. But Vera's manicure would be all messed up after being locked for two months. Kyle's best friend Lily moved to San Francisco some time ago. And he missed her very much, so he decided to prepare a surprise party for her upcoming birthday. Can you tell exactly how many months have passed since she left by looking at his room? Lily went away 36 months ago. How can we figure it out? Take a look at the screen of his laptop. It shows the actual date. It's January 15th, 2022. And now let's take a look at Kyle's photo wall. His last picture with Lily is dated January 15th, 2019. So Lily moved to another city exactly 36 months or three years ago. First of all, Kyle decided to find out what Lily wanted for her birthday. He knew she had a wish list online, but unfortunately, he forgot the password. He looked through his old notes and found this clue. Can you help him remember the correct password? It's 3548. You just need to count the spots on the bodies of these ladybugs. Now, Kyle knew what Lily's dream gift was. She wanted one very rare vintage guitar. Kyle created a secret group chat for all Lily's close friends and offered each of them to invest $100 to buy the guitar together. All five friends agreed to send the money to Kyle's bank account. But Kyle received only $400. Carrie said she'd sent her $100 after her morning jog. Josh said that he'd transferred the money right after receiving Kyle's message. Jenny had some problems with her bank app, but she managed to fix it. Mike said that he'd asked his mom to send the $100, and she'd promised to do so immediately. And Amy wasn't a huge fan of banking apps, so she asked her boyfriend to send the money. Who's lying? Carrie. She has a cast on her leg. She couldn't go jogging. Kyle went to a musical instrument store to get the guitar, but he ran into another customer who also wanted to buy that guitar. Kyle said, it's not fair, I booked this guitar in advance. The customer said, if you crack my riddle, the guitar is yours. I can be flipped and broken, but I never move. I can be closed and opened, and sometimes removed. I am sealed by hands. What am I? Two minutes later, Kyle left the store holding the guitar. What did he answer? It's a deal. Now Kyle had to go to the airport and fly to San Francisco, but his car broke down at a gas station in the middle of nowhere. Kyle wanted to ask somebody at the parking lot to give him a ride because he couldn't afford to be late for his flight. Can you help Kyle pick the right driver? This car has only three wheels. It's very unlikely that this driver will take Kyle to the airport safely. There's a creepy clown hiding in the back seat of this car, so it's probably not the best choice too. But the first car looks pretty reliable. The driver turned on terrible music and began to sing along off-key. Kyle asked him to turn the music down as politely as he could. The driver promised to do so, but only if Kyle managed to crack his riddle. And then he began to sing. From the beginning of eternity to the end of time and space, to the beginning of every end, 
and the end of every place. What am I? Can you help Kyle put an end to this terrible singing? The correct answer is the letter E. Kyle landed in San Francisco and went to get his luggage as fast as he could, but his suitcase was missing. Can you tell what happened after looking at this picture? This old lady is the thief. She covered the suitcase with her scarf, but this is Kyle's luggage. There's this sticker with his name on it. Kyle arrived at the bakery where he'd ordered a birthday cake for Lily. The pastry chef brought him three cakes for three different lilies. Can you tell which cake is for Kyle's lily? The third one. It's the only cake decorated with a cream guitar. Kyle knew that Lily wanted a guitar, so he ordered a matching cake design. After that, Kyle went to the local fancy dress store, but it was closed. The owner left a note on the door. It had a hint. 345129. Can you help Kyle figure out the 10-digit code? It's 444-111199. Kyle literally had to enter three fours, five ones, and two nines. When Kyle entered the store, he didn't see anyone, so he went to the storage room. The owner was lying on the floor unconscious. Kyle called the police right away. Several officers came and questioned the owner's assistant, Stacy. She said, When I arrived at work, I felt that something was wrong. The door to the storage room was open. I entered and saw my boss unconscious on the floor, so I ran outside to get some help. The officers arrested Stacy right away. Why? She was lying. This type of door shuts automatically. When the owner of the store came to his senses, he was so overwhelmed that he didn't want to give Kyle any costumes. But Kyle needed them desperately, so he offered the owner a deal. Ask me any riddle. If I guess, I'll get the costumes. If I can't crack it, I'll give you this delicious cake. The owner liked that deal, and that was his riddle. I go from house to house, a messenger small and tight. When it rains or snows, I sleep outside at night. What am I? Can you help Kyle save the birthday party? The answer is a road. Kyle picked the costumes and wigs and was ready to go to Lily's house. But first, the guy had to walk through an enchanted park. There were three ways. The first path led past several angry lions. A wicked witch who disliked men blocked the second path. And the third path was full of poppies that could put him to sleep immediately. Which way should he choose? The second option is the safest. Kyle can put on one of the wigs and dress and pretend to be a woman to pass by the witch. <laughs> Kyle and Lily's other friends came earlier to her house to decorate it and prepare the surprise party. Meanwhile, Lily was away having her nails done. Lily's mother told the guys that the girl had left a spare key to the house under the rug on the doorstep. But when the friends arrived, they didn't find any key. Can you figure out where the key is? The dog took it. Take a look at these paw prints. It's pretty clear that the dog was near the rug and moved it. Then, the prints lead to the doghouse, so it's very likely that the key is there. The guys got very hungry while decorating the house, so they decided to share one lasagna among all 12 guests. Mike offered Rick $50 to divide the lasagna into 12 pieces, with only 4 cuts. Can you help Rick? Since the lasagna is rectangular, the task is pretty simple. First, he needs to divide it into three identical pieces with two cuts. Then, make one perpendicular cut in the middle. 
So far, we've got six pieces and one final cut to make. Now he should make a horizontal cut exactly through the middle of the lasagna. And voila! There are 12 identical pieces that can be shared among 12 guests. Every guest wanted to be the one to bring Lily her cake with candles when she got home. Kyle offered such a deal. The one who's the first to guess my riddle will carry the cake. Everyone agreed. Here's the riddle. White, fat, and fluffy. May even look like a puppy. Seems heavy, but is light. Floats about without a worry. But if it turns dark, you have to hurry. What is it? Jenny was the first to answer correctly, so she got the right to carry the birthday cake. What did she say? A cloud. Finally, Lily arrived home. The guys congratulated her and gave her the birthday cake. Lily made a wish and prepared to blow the candles out. But suddenly, Fiona, who was filming the moment, began to scream. Why? What's so creepy here? Take a look at the background. This face is very strange, isn't it? In the middle of the party, Kyle noticed that Lily was gone. That was weird because she left her phone in the kitchen. They searched the entire house. Suddenly, Kyle heard screams coming from the basement. Lily was lying there unconscious. The basement had no windows, and the door was usually locked. Only three people had the keys. Lily's boyfriend, Fred, Sarah, a cleaning lady, and a chef who worked for Lily's parents. Kyle called an ambulance and locked the door to the basement. He interrogated three suspects. The chef said, I was making dinner when I heard Sarah scream and rushed over. It was dark there, so I turned on the light and saw Sarah and Fred. Sarah said, I saw Lily's body and screamed. Lily's boyfriend said, I just got home and found out what happened. Who sounds suspicious and why? Sarah, of course, the cook said he had to turn on the light. So how did Sarah see Lily? Hmm. Suddenly, Kyle looked at Lily and said, Oh, get up, Lily. That was just a prank. How did he know? When he first saw the girl, she was lying on her back with her head to the door. And now, she's lying with her feet to the door. It's obvious that she moved while he was interrogating the suspects. No one else could move her because nobody had access to the basement. Okay, well, let's have a little warm-up. How many characters do you see on the screen? Count each one. There are eight big ones, and I hope you notice two little ones over there. So, the answer is ten. Now, look at this picture and try to find the odd image. No, it's not my picture. Yes, it's right here. Another one for you. Pay attention. Look, here it is. Now, let's make it harder. Here's a picture of many animals. Can you find two that are exactly the same? Here's one, and here's the other. Can you find two emojis that look the same here? Look, here they are. I hope you're ready. Here's a riddle for you. Adley came to a cafe to study. She ordered a hot chocolate and a croissant. A croissant. She added a bit of sugar to her drink, started to drink it, and noticed there was a fly in her cup. Adley asked the waiter to get a new cup of hot chocolate. One minute later, the waiter brought it to her. Adley took a sip and exclaimed, It's not a new drink. You just took the fly out. How did she understand it?
Do you remember that Adley put some sugar in her hot chocolate? Well, the supposedly new drink was already sweet. Delilah went missing. The police had three suspects. The first one was her friend, Ellery, who was the last person spotted with Delilah. Ellery said they had gone shopping together, but afterwards, they both went home. Delilah's boyfriend, Walt, said the girl hadn't come home, and he assumed she stayed at Ellery's place. The last suspect was Delilah's father, who lived in another city. He said he didn't even know he had a daughter. Who should the police arrest? They should arrest Delilah's father. He said he didn't know he had a daughter. But there's a picture of Delilah in his house. Boy, he's some father, huh? On a rainy evening, Kaya came home and found that someone had eaten her chocolate bar. How rude! She asked her siblings who had done that. Laura said she had been working out in her room and she didn't even eat sweets. Sienna said she would never eat someone else's chocolate. Harley said that she had been outside watering plants in the garden. She had just come home herself. Who lied? I'd say it was Harley. Hey, it was raining outside, so she didn't really need to water the plants. Esme was walking in the forest and guess what? Got lost. She tried to find her way back, but instead, she stumbled across a witch's house. She petted a black cat and asked the witch to take her home. But the witch had a riddle for Esme. I'll do my bad witch impression here. Look, there are 10 pencils. They are in this order. One pencil, two pencils, and then three and four. Arrange them in reverse order, from four to one, by moving only one pencil. (laughs) Okay, enough of that. How can Esme do it? Esme should take the third pencil from the group of four and put it between the first pencil and the group of two. Okay, now I have a maze for you. It's amazing! (laughs) Can you find the way out? Yep, here it is. Help this mouse find its way to the cheese. It should go this way. Now, let's test how attentive you are. Look, here's a ball and three cups. I'll put the ball in here in the middle cup. Your task is to watch the ball and then tell me where it is. Ready? Go! So, where is the ball? Look, it's here! Did you get it? Now I have four cups, and I'll be moving faster. I put the ball right here. Watch it. Where do you think it is? It's in here. Would you make a good detective? I have some cases for you to crack. A young girl, Juniper, was spending her evening reading a book. She didn't eat anything. She didn't drink anything. Still, she suddenly felt bad and called the doctor. It turned out she got poisoned. But how? Juniper occasionally licked her fingers when she needed to turn a page. The poison was on the book's pages. Another girl, Cicely, was poisoned too and brought to the hospital. The examination showed that she hadn't eaten or drunk anything that day. Can you figure out what poisoned her? Cicely didn't eat anything, but look, she's wearing lipstick. That's what contains poison. The police just have to figure out who gave the girl this product. Miss Virginia Dell called the police and reported that her diamond necklace had been stolen from her room. 
Someone had broken in by smashing the window. A detective came to her house and saw that the window was indeed shattered and the room was a mess. Do you think someone really robbed the lady? Or was the whole thing staged? No one robbed Mrs. Dell. If the window had been broken from the outside, there would be glass on the floor. But the floor is clean, which means the window was broken from the inside. Probably by Ms. Dell herself. During summer break, Penny's friends invited her to go camping. Penny didn't like such activities, but she also didn't want to admit that she'd rather stay at home watching TV. So she said that her parents had invited her to go to Greece with them. In reality, she stayed at home and binge-watched TV shows. Her family sent her some pictures from their vacation. Penny photoshopped herself into these photos and sent them to her friends. But when they saw the pictures, they realized that Penny wasn't in Greece. How did they figure it out? Penny is wearing the same outfit in every photo. It looks very suspicious. Mrs. Lawrence had three teenage daughters, Bonnie, Cassidy, and Sierra. They were all grounded and couldn't leave the house. Still, a neighbor saw one of the girls in the mall. Mrs. Lawrence came home and asked the girls what they'd been doing. Bonnie said she had been reading all day. Cassidy said that she had been painting in her room. Sierra said she'd spent the day in the garden and had just returned home. Which of the girls was in the mall? Both Cassidy and Sierra have some dirt on their shoes. That's okay for Sierra since she was in the garden. But Cassidy said she hadn't left her room, which means she lied. Yvette always wanted to get a cat, but her mom didn't allow her to have one. Once, the girl found a kitten in the street and brought it home. She knew her mom would make her take it to the shelter, so she decided to hide the animal. Yvette managed to keep it for two weeks without her mom noticing anything. But one morning, Yvette's mom walked into her daughter's room and realized a cat lived there. So, how did she figure it out? Yvette is wearing shorts, and her legs are all scratched. Ned works in a club. His job is to check people's ID cards and not to let inside anyone suspicious or people younger than 21. Take a look at these ID cards and help Ned decide who won't get into the party today. So what do you think about this woman here? She seems fine. Let her pass. Now take a look at this guy. What's your verdict? He lives in Wonderland. I've never heard of such a city. Let him go back to Wonderland. No clubbing tonight. What about this girl? What do you think? She seems okay. Here's another one. What would you say about her? What's your verdict? I'd say pass. What about this young lady? The month and date of her birthday seem to be reversed. I'd say something is wrong with her ID. Okay, and how about this one? Yes or no? He's just 17 years old, definitely a no-no. Okay, how about something a bit harder? Rhett was driving to a neighboring city when one of his car tires went flat. He stopped to change it, but accidentally dropped all the four bolts used to fasten the wheel down the drain. Butterfingers. fingers.
The guy didn't have any extra bolts to fix the wheel and to drive to the nearest service station. It was also a deserted road. No one traveled there, and Rhett's phone had run out of battery. What can this guy do to fix his car and get to the service station? Well, there's one solution. He can take one bolt from each of the other three wheels and use those three bolts to attach the fourth wheel. It must be enough to reach the place where he can get qualified help. Eve is taking part in a lottery. She has all the winning numbers written on a piece of paper. She can still participate and no one will stop her. But if Neva participates, she will have the same chances of winning as everyone else. Why? Nive just wrote down all the possible numbers that might be drawn. She still doesn't know which ones exactly will be chosen, so it doesn't affect her chances. Now imagine you're a bus driver. This bus driver is driving through a small town. There are seven passengers inside the bus. At the first stop, the driver picks up five more passengers and one person gets off the bus. At the second stop, the driver picks up eight more passengers and nine get off the bus. At the third stop, the rest of the passengers get off the bus. How old is the bus driver? Well, it seems confusing, but the answer is simple. As I said in the beginning, you are the bus driver. So, how old are you? Well, that old?